It's going. It's also really cool. They don't. I don't have pants on. So today, I'm gonna tell you another story. I'm home alone, so that's why I am talking louder. You're so pretty. So the. So the story I'm gonna be telling you today is a kind of weird and stupid one like the last one except not as dangerous I guess. It was basically <laughs> how I almost got kicked out of preschool. Whoa! I look like an egg. So basically the story starts when I was a little itty bitty person like I, like I was about that big. I was four, I think. Four or five and I was like this big. So the preschool I went to, it was like near, it was like next to like an old church. You are so cute. Anyway, it was at, it was at my preschool and um, what do we say? Of course, it's at my, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. So my preschool, it had like a lot of like, uh, things for us to play with like in the one room where like most of the shizness went down like pretty much like you know like learning stuff i have a lot of stories from that place and, like i lost like my second tooth there because i was being stupid and like so like the tables were all like here okay this hand that's where the tables were and like a ton of toys and stuff over here like toys like those play kitchens me and my friend were chasing each other around we were chasing each other around the lunch tables we walked outside of the room and then as we were running back inside of the room she tripped me i don't know if it was by accident or not i don't remember and i went flying and i my face landed and went, went i knocked out like my I don't remember if it was the, the bottom or, I don't remember if it was the bottom or the top one. In preschool, I had a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend, he was cute. I thought he was the cutest boy ever. Like, we were like hugging and he would kiss me on the cheek a lot. We liked each other a lot and we always hung out together and whenever we'd take nap time in like the big play area, there was like a big play ground inside the school it was like the gym it was like an old gym but like the floor was like padded and that's where we'd have our nap time is right next to it and me and him would always take our naps right next to each other obviously not on the same thing but like next to each other and the teacher knew that we were like dating and we were best friends so she would always uh sit next to us we wouldn't like stay up and talk to each other i remember i went um me and him were playing it was like right before nap time i think it was like right before or after i don't know but we were playing on the play structures with our friends we went down underneath the play structure because <laughs> there was like a little area where kids like kids would like to hang out and like sit we weren't really allowed to go down there one of the teachers liked it one of them didn't the one i didn't like as much she's the one who did not like us going down there but <laughs> me and him went down there and we were just talking like he was like here and we were just, you know, sitting, talking, crisscross, applesauce. We were just talking to each other, you know, having a good time. And he kisses me on the cheek. And then I went to do it to him. And it, it wasn't the cheek. It was like my lips and then his. So I, I was going in like this. And he goes, and I'm like, and I kid you not, <laughs> right as... It went pfft. like right when right when that happened. Of course, that is when the freaking teacher walks by, and she's like, "What are you guys doing? Get out of there!" And so like we're so, we just like pooped ourselves because we were so scared. But I was like, I mean, in my head, I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. I just had my first kiss, you know. It was an accidental first kiss. That was my first. Kiss. There was she literally caught us right when it happened. It was so awkward. But she got us out, and she got us in so much trouble. Like, we I don't remember what everything, how everything happened, but we were in so much trouble. And she was like gonna kick us out for the day. Like, almost got kicked out of preschool. She took us separately. Like, first she sat us in the front of like the gym, and she was talking to both of us. And she's like. Now, what'd you guys just do? And we had to explain to her, like, we kissed by accident. She's, like, trying to get an explanation from both of us. And then she took us out one by one and was asking us, like, what happened? Like, what were we thinking? And all that kind of stuff. And honestly, yeah, I guess it's understandable, like, two kids kissing. But, like, 
I don't get why it was like a really big deal because she made such such a big deal out of it and like like she was like we were she acted like we were like the devil spawn almost like she was so mad at us and it was like it was an accidental kiss like like we could even when we were like little we could both admit that was an accident like we did not mean to kiss each other i don't get what the big deal was but you know i understand you know she's a teacher uh, i mean obviously if i was a teacher i'd be like hey yo what are you guys doing like it's a little weird like don't like mm. so i would think it's a little weird but you know i don't know why she made such a big deal Yeah, like once our once her parents got there, she was like explaining to them what happened and how bad it was and how we shouldn't do that and all that kind of stuff. And I don't my mom my mom doesn't even remember it, but I think it was my dad who picked me up and he was just like, eh. No, no one cared. Like even the parents didn't care. Like his, like his parents, I don't even know what what they thought. But I know my dad didn't care and I don't think they did either because they never mentioned it to us or anything. Like, if the parents don't think it's a big deal because they knew we liked each other and like, you know, we were best friends, I don't think she should have made such a big deal out of it. However, I'm not too salty about it a little bit. I just realized there's like a line on my wall. Line. I don't know what that is. I don't. I guess that is the story of how I almost, I don't know why I did that. Uh, ew, why that sound gross. But yeah. <laughs> So I guess that's the story of how I almost got kicked out of preschool. How rebellious was I? Oh my gosh. <coughs> if you like this kind of thing and you like the story, give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, I guess, then you should subscribe. And I guess I will see you next time.